Hello everyone, Martai back here with another video about PG Blitz, where I talk about some of the upcoming things going on with the game mode. Um, today I'm going to be talking about the Deepwind Gorge map, some of the similarities, some of the differences, things you should be looking for, and etc. So the Deepwind Gorge map consists of five nodes. It has Market, which is in the center. Then you have Ruins, Shrine, Farm, and Quarry on the outside edges of the map. And it works very similar to Rathi Basin. Uh, the terrain is just different, and it's a little bit bigger than Rathi Basin. One of the things you'll notice on the right-hand side is uh, an update to the UI, uh, specifically with BG Blitz. I'm not sure if it will work with, other, with normal BGs, but as of right now, it does work with BG Blitz. It gives you actually timers on the side. So uh, as you can see, I'm counting down. You actually will not need your own uh, add-on for timers anymore, so that's pretty great. So this is how the nodes work in Deepwind Gorge. There are five capturable nodes, like I had said at the start. Uh, the resource uh, acquisition rate has been increased from the normal mode, uh, which makes sense because they want faster games. After you capture a node entirely, you control it for 45 seconds. It deactivates and can be captured again five seconds later. Uh, the, the fully cap to fully capture a node, you have to complete the four second cast, which is down from six, and hold the point for 30 seconds without the enemy team capturing the flag. So it works a little bit differently. It's a lot faster capping uh, than the normal modes. It actually allows for ghosting, things like that, uh, a little bit uh, more often, and it's actually probably gonna become part of the gameplay to ghost. So as you can see, the flag that's ahead of us there that we're pushing towards actually has a bubble around it. So that flag, you can't click on it or capture it until the 45 seconds is up and it becomes controllable uh, or uncontrolled again. So as you can see, the middle of the map says market no longer controlled. So that means anybody can go and get that flag now. So as you're seeing here, you'll see in a second, we're at the ruins node and it has that bubble around it. And there it goes. You can see the flag becomes uh, uncontrolled again. Now what, before the flag is controlled, uh, fully controlled, you are able to click on it and swing it back to your side. It doesn't, it doesn't get a bubble around it uh, until the node is fully captured. So once a node is fully captured, you can actually leave that base and go to try hit another base. You can actually ghost. It's actually probably the best thing to do. And just keep an eye on that timer um, to maybe have somebody in that area to go back to that base again. Stealth classes such as rogues, druids, and maybe even hunters may be able to uh, you may have them be able to stealthing up and going around and being ready to go hit nodes that are about to become uncontrolled. Um, because if the other team is ghosting as well, they may have not have someone there right away. Um, so you can actually get a stealthy over there to be ready to cap. Or in a lot of situations, you might have a rogue in a 1v1 situation. There'll be other classes as well, such as druids with cyclone, even warlocks with fear. Um, since it only takes four seconds to capture a flag, um, Fear le 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 will have a duration longer than it takes to cap the flag. Cyclone as well. So there'll be other classes, um, Freezing Trap, different things like that. There'll be other classes that will have a chance to be able to take nodes. Uh, Rogues definitely, they have, I think it's five abilities that allows them to capture flags that are above the, uh, the capture timer. Rogues have Blind Sap, Kidney, and smoke bomb actually, whereas those didn't always last that way before. Smoke bomb, especially uh, smoke bomb, actually went away before the timer was up, so people could still interrupt you. But now that is not the case. So keep that in mind, you rogues. You'll have a lot of opportunities to take bases. There'll be a lot of rotating, um, a lot of opportunities to retake bases. So it's not just like the other team has three bases and you have no opportunity to take them again because. Um, it'll, this will kind of open things up again a little bit for people because you'll see lots of rotation, lots of ghosting. Stealth classes will be very important in maps like this. So a lot of opportunities for different types of gameplay. would be pretty neat to see. Uh, I like Deep Wind, the map, the, what's going on with the Deep Wind map, especially with the speed buffs and uh, some of the other buffs you can get in there, like the stealth seeing buff, shield buff, things like that. Uh, it's still a little big, especially with the way the map is designed with all the terrain and stuff. There's a lot of you have to run around a lot, whereas uh, a, a lot of them, hills and stuff like that, whereas in uh, Arathi Basin, the only place you have to worry about going up a hill is Lumber Mill. Everything else is kind of a straight line. hope this is informational for you. If you have any questions, comments, feel free to leave one. I'll try to answer the best I can, but uh, I still have a few more maps that I plan on doing this for, so I'll get those out here. 
plan on doing one every couple of days so just keep an eye out on the channel like subscribe comment do all that kind of stuff it'd be great help me out here while i continue to try to learn how to do some editing learn how to do these videos and become more comfortable with it so again yeah thanks for watching and see you next time